Hi, from the University of Minnesota Solar Vehicle Project. I'm Sarah Beglin from the Array Team. And I'm Ryan Berglund. I'm a photographer. We're here setting up camp on day two of the 2019 Bridgestone World Solar Challenge, and we're in Tennant Creek, which is the first stage stop of the race for the cruiser cars. From day one, this has been a really exciting trip. I was a passenger in the solar vehicle at the first leg of the trip, and it was a once of a lifetime kind of experience. I was asleep for most of it, but it was still super exciting. <laughs> yeah, passengers falling asleep has been a reoccurring theme. Uh, the solar car tends to be pretty exhausting with how hot it gets in there, and the fact that Unfortunately, there's not too much to do while they're driving. Things were going well with the race, but unfortunately we suffered a flat tire that ended up putting us back behind where we wanted to be. Yeah, the issue was is that we got passed by a bunch of Challenger teams, and with all the hills and winding roads in between Darwin and the first control stop in Catherine, it was pretty hard to keep our target speed and, and get around them with the limited passing zones. Fortunately, we were able to find the perfect spot to set up camp and normalize for the evening and the following morning. And it was especially exciting because we were able to camp alongside a couple other teams like Bochum and Onda Solare. Yep, so then we started off the morning with a target speed of 100 kilometers per hour, which is pretty quick for the solar car. And we were doing that to catch up for the lost time from yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. Things were going great and we had a smooth driver change mid-morning. But unfortunately, uh, early this afternoon, we suffered a mechanical failure. And when we were fixing that mechanical failure, both the battery packs got very hot from sitting uh, under the very hot solar arrays. And that limited our speed as we weren't able to drive as fast as we wanted until those battery packs cooled off a bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, we were able to pull in here uh, just before the five o'clock cutoff. Um, so uh, we're still in this race and right now we are alongside all the other cruiser teams, grid charging in preparation for the longest leg of the race to Cooper PD over the next two days. Despite the delays we faced, we did make the deadline and we were one of only six teams to do so out of 18 in our class. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with us here at the race. And we'll be posting another update as we reach the next stage stop in Cooper PD. Thanks for watching.